Hey guys! So today I'm going to talk to you about the movie On the Rocks. Now this comes to Apple TV Plus on October 23rd and um, I wanted to like it. I thought I was going to like it and I didn't like it at all. Like not even a little bit. So let's uh, talk about this. Let me give you my review for On the Rocks. Hey! Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Okay, so first of all, when you see that something stars Bill Murray and Rashida Jones, two hilarious comedians, I expected to laugh at least once during this movie, and I didn't. I literally did not laugh even one time. This is a drama, yes, but with two comedians at the helm, I expected some laughter, even a little bit. Um, and I know that Sofia Coppola is... is dry, but this isn't even dry humor. It was just dry and boring and slow. It's about an hour and a half. I think it's an hour and 37 minutes and it felt like five hours. I have never checked my watch so many times during a movie to go, is this over yet? When is this going to end? It felt like it was going on and on and on and on and on and on. And then you finally get to, to the answer you want to, to know. You need to know the answer to something. I'll give you the plot in just a second, but uh, you're waiting for something. You're waiting for a reveal. You're waiting for a yes or no answer, and it comes in like the last maybe 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes of the movie, and then that's it, and it's over, and you're like, oh, okay. I just wasted an hour and a half for a very small reveal that's not even close to a payoff. Um, it's just not worth the time watching. <laughs> this, this is the description. Let me redo the synopsis. The story of a young mother who reconnects with her larger-than-life playboy father on an adventure through New York. In this comedy about aging marriage and the tenuous bond between parents and grown children, New York author and married mother of two, Laura has become suspicious that her career-driven husband may be having an affair with a co-worker, a speculation encouraged by her caddish bon voyant father. It said comedy in there. I didn't even laugh once. Like I said, it was not funny. It was not entertaining. It was not good, okay? So so a very small thing happens towards the beginning, and Rashida Jones' character thinks, oh, maybe my husband is, is cheating on me. Um, she talks to one of her, her friends, I think, or her mom. I, it's, I, she was on the phone. I, again, I'm not even clear as to who it was, but they basically told her, no, 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 you're probably wrong. She calls her father and her father says, yes, he's cheating on you. Like, let's go track him down. So they start tailing him, all sorts of stuff, which you would think would be like a fun adventure. And it's not, it's, it's frustratingly boring. And Bill Murray is, gosh, he's so underused in this. Like, yes, he's a main star, yeah, but he never makes you laugh. He never made me laugh, not once. Uh, he's hitting on all these women, and it just feels kind of weird. He's talking to his daughter about what attracts men to women, and he's talking about their breasts and their haunches, and it's like, feels kind of gross, because like, if my dad started to talk to me like that, I would be like, this is disgusting, like, please get me out of this conversation, I don't want to be a part of this, so maybe as a, a woman, it, it was not entertaining, I don't know, so this whole time you're trying to find out if, if her husband is cheating on her, and you don't even get a clear-cut answer until the last, like I said, five, ten minutes of the movie, uh, it's, it's long and drawn out, and it's only an hour and a half, and it feels so much longer, which is never a good thing. Um, it just, it, I felt like there was potential there, and it just completely fell flat. It was, it was just boring, just awful. I mean, I give it half a star, half, like 0.5 out of, out of five, only because of the acting was good good I guess if that's what the role they were going for I just feel like I can't give it a zero if I if I could give it a zero I would I'm not going to I'll give it a half but it's just it was so boring I say completely save yourself don't even bother don't even try to watch it I it's just it's not good it's not good it's it's not entertaining it's not funny uh there's no payoff in the end practically uh, and it's and it's kind of gross at parts. So uh, that's my opinion. If you guys have already seen this by the time you get to this review, let me know what you think down below. Maybe I missed something. I, I don't know. Maybe I was in a bad mood. I feel like I woke up in a really good mood. I ran on the treadmill. I had my runner's high and I'm watching this and I'm, I can't. I couldn't do it. It was, I almost stopped it so many times that I figured maybe there's a big payoff in the end. Maybe this is going to be worth it. Is it going to be worth it? And it, and it wasn't. 
Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos like this one. And thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you to go and watch On the Rocks on Apple TV Plus and enjoy it. But I can't. Save yourself the boredom. Uh, you will never get that hour and a half of your life back. Don't do it.